boys and girls, my name is Cheryl and today I'll be telling you the story of Fatima and her magic socks. This story is written by Zizi Aza and illustrated by Izmir Iqbal. Once upon a time in a beautiful garden city, there lived a girl named Fatima. She is just like you and I. She loves playing at the playground and also laughing at her father's jokes. One rainy afternoon, Fatima was so bored at home that she decided to go on an adventure with a special friend. His name is called Mr. Minisman. He's a purple lion with beautiful red mane and yellow stars on his torso. Well, little did Fatima know that she's about to embark on an adventure of a lifetime. Mr. Minisman and Fatima sang tunes all afternoon. But suddenly they were swept into a colorful storm and Fatima thought, oh dear, what's going on? And when suddenly the swirl of color stopped, Fatima found herself in a room painted bright, warm yellow. And in the middle of the room stood a tall man that looked very crossed indeed. His eyes were red, his cheeks were red, and even his ears were red. So Fatima, being the polite girl that she is, approached this man and asked, What's wrong? And he said, I've been looking around the clock. What I've been hunting for is my missing left sock. So Fatima thought, I'll help you to find your sock. So they searched and they searched and she thought, Hey, have you looked behind your fridge? And he said, Yeah, all I found was a ball of hair. Have you looked under your desk? And he said, All I found was a dusty old teddy bear. And she thought, Oh, I know. Sometimes my socks hide under the TV. Maybe that's where your sock must be. So they looked under the TV and guess what they found? Only a forgotten plate of Maggie Mee. At this point, Fatima was tired of searching. So she asked the man, why can't you just wear another pair? And the man said, looking all the same is my aim. If my shirt is black, my pens are black, my shoes are black, and my socks have to be black. Tall and proud I must stand. But Fatima does not care about looking all the same. She's proud of her colorful mismatched socks. One blue and one pink. It made her dance and she was having so much fun that she forgot the man was there at all. The man became less crossed and he wanted to prance across the floor too. But try as he might, he just couldn't get it right. He looked like an octopus on two legs. So Fatima gave the man one purple sock with bright orange dots and another sky blue sock with yellow stripes. He put on the socks and guess what? He started to goof and he grooved with his moves. <laughs> they danced merrily and they fell on the floor laughing. The man said, Thank you Fatima. You have taught me that looking all the same is boring and being a little bit different, it's okay. So he danced away in glee with the silly socks on his feet. Fatima giggled as she hopped onto Mr. Minisman as they journeyed back home. Fatima was really happy that she met a new friend who had learned that you can look as sharp as tack while having some fun too. The end. Oh, if you enjoyed this story and you want to hear more, make sure you join Pips Club and subscribe to Pips World. See ya! Catch Fatima and her magic socks at Esplanade Theatre Studio from 28th April onwards. Get your tickets now! See ya!